all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i apologize i know i'm making back-to-back -back uploads on pokimane i get it all right but listen i honestly didn't even want to make a video on this subject because like it's just so childish it's so played out this has been going on for over a month now who honestly cares like who cares that 500 people in a chat of like 25,000 people said L plus ratio. So obviously the video you guys watched yesterday that was made like a week ago. Listen, nowadays Gideon Pokimane, they're cool. They've solved the beef. Now they're eating burgers together, which is cool. I mean, it's whatever. Gideon kind of looks like a pussy here, but you know what? Like I said, to each their own. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is that this whole situation is just played out. It should have never been anything more than just like a week long conversation and even that like is kind of a stretch you know well i guess pokimane just still isn't over this whole situation and i mean honestly imagine that a woman getting over something <laughs> I think you have a better chance of your father coming home from the grocery store with milk and cigarettes. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys a clip from her stream, and I guess she decided, you know what, fuck it, why not? Let's just call out Ninja and his wife. Obviously, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the content. And guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it. The funniest thing about all of this is that the guy who started it all and who had said so many like mean things about me on his stream and then got banned. He was faster to apologize to me than Ninja and Jessica Blevins. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was good, Pokemon. That was actually really funny. No, no, it fucking wasn't. Listen, I want to preface this whole video by saying I fucking hate everyone involved here. All right. I don't actually hate them, but I just I could give a shit less. Ninja is like beyond washed and he's just trying to be cool with young kids and I think he shouldn't be allowed within a hundred feet of a school zone. As for his wife, like everyone knows she's a bitch. I like to think that Jessica Blevins is very forthcoming about that. I mean, if you just go look at her Twitter page, she's pretty hostile towards people, even people that like don't really fucking deserve it. And I'm pretty sure it was like just yesterday that Jessica decided to step down as Ninja's manager, which is probably a good decision, you know, business wise because, well, she fucking fights off all of the people that support him. Also, a little secret I want to let you guys in on. I'm pretty sure Ninja lost his Red Bull sponsorship. I mean, I don't know why you would sign the guy. Dude literally had, like, the biggest audience on the internet at the time and then just said, fuck it, you know what, I'm going to go to Mixer. I mean, at that point, LeBron James should just step down and play at the YMCA. But anyways, like, as for Pokimane, pretty self-explanatory. Girl tries to act like a cute little innocent thing on the internet. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, she's a fucking asshole and she gets whatever the hell she fucking wants and Gideon like I said he makes decent content I think he's a funny guy but I don't know if the dude just like really wants to stream on Twitch again and that's why he's out here apologizing to everyone but I mean you know like if you're gonna bark that much you might as well fucking bite too you know what I'm saying anyways anyways getting back on track here if you're Pokimane why do you even say this like there's literally no fucking reason to bring this up the beef between you and Gideon it's squashed I thought it was bigger than black and white and now here we are going after fucking ninja and his wife like pokimane you have it so easy you just have to do one thing just shut up just shut up for crying out loud i mean like at this point she's got to be trolling right she's just trying to do anything to stay relevant in the media i mean what else what what benefit do you have from calling out ninja and saying that him and his wife are just pussies you know i mean like i know that pokimane's twitch contract expired a couple days ago and maybe right now she's in negotiations i mean i think she's actually supposed to have an announcement here within the next couple days so maybe she's just out here like impression farming and and if you know what I mean, like she's just trying to get as many people as possible to tweet about her, to write articles, to just do anything and everything to get her impressions up. That way she can walk into like Twitch headquarters and demand a bigger contract. Realistically speaking, I don't think that's her strategy. If it is, it's pretty fucking shitty because, you know, you're attacking one of your own, like another one of Twitch's top creators. It's like, you know what? Let's give them the middle finger and just tell them to go fuck themselves. And speaking of getting fucked, how come Jim? 
Gideon isn't unbanned yet. Like, the dude has done everything right, in my opinion. Like I said, he looks like a bitch, but he did do the right thing here. He apologized to Pokimane, he apologized to everyone, said it was like an accident, he won't do it again, whatever, right? I don't fucking care. What I do care about, though, is, like, why hasn't he been unbanned yet? So, like, on YouTube, when you cross the lines in one of your videos, you know, you get a strike for it, and there's supposed to be a three-strike system, right? I mean, it doesn't always work like that. YouTube's not perfect, but I'm just saying over on Twitch, this man made one mistake and they just pulled the plug on his entire fucking existence on the platform. Either way, if we look back to the very beginning of the situation, what started this whole fucking debacle, right? Gideon raided Pokimane, had his subscriber spam L plus ratio, even though Pokimane, you fell off, plus you're fucking cringe, plus you're a fucking woman, so anyways, there's that. But like I mentioned yesterday, this has to be one of the softest hate raids in the history of Twitch. And with that being said, I'm not talking about this shit again. I'm fucking done. Gideon gets unbanned. Congrats to you, bro. I'm not making another fucking video. Pokimane, get the fuck over it. There is nothing to get at this point. You can gain nothing from this situation. Unless something like pretty important happens here in this situation and I'm talking Pokimane gets booted off the fucking platform or there's lawsuits involved i ain't talking about this shit again man i'm done watching these toddlers fist fight on the playground anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all fucking time we have Joseph and Zingies. Zingies, I apologize, bro. I've got a couple videos made in advance here, so you might not see your name, but I promise I will make it up to you. Anyways, guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're going to be taking a look at your average ASMR streamer over on Twitch. I can't lie, I'm not in this category too often because when I think of ASMR, I think of like rainfall on a windshield in your car, you know, something along those lines, something that's supposed to be relaxing and puts you to sleep at night. Well, I guess nowadays ASMR is more of like a deep throating your microphone and sucking on an earlobe type thing. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about, but before I do, if you happen to enjoy today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the content. And guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it. Nigga. <laughs> Low key though, who is that? Like, seriously, what's her name? Whenever I saw that clip on Twitter yesterday, bro, I was like, yes, this is the shit I fucking live for right here. I'm always so happy to make a video on subject like these because, bro, the girls do all the work for me. I don't gotta do shit, man. They do it themselves. All right, so obviously I have no idea what kind of weird f***s are out there watching this content. Like, I can't actually believe there's people out there that work a full-time job. They come home at night and they cannot wait to watch this girl just one-throat this microphone. And obviously, a lot of people are pretty pissed off right now because I guess there was a League of Legends streamer who had the name, like, Donal, but Twitch thought his username stood for, like, do a so rather than, you know, speaking to the guy and asking him what his name means, they just f***ing booted him off the platform. Now I will say, some people out there are gonna try and make the argument that she needs to do this in order to make this certain sound for the ASMR. Yeah, yeah, whatever, right? Like, that still doesn't change the fact that she's only wearing a bra in the video and she's face-fucking herself with a microphone. More importantly though, who the f*** actually thinks this sound is like pleasing to the ears? I mean, I really hate to say that I'm the weird one here, but I know like 18,000 people a day watch Amaranth do this. Like they just straight up let her 
blast their eardrums. Like, bro, if I wanted someone to tongue punch my ear hole, I would just go down to my local gym and just walk around naked in the locker room and ask some hairy dude named Dale to do it. I'm sure he'd be happy to do it for free, you know? So anyway, some of you might be wondering, this streamer goes by the name of Save a Princess, and currently, I think she has been banned. I haven't seen anything, like, official come out in any news articles or on Twitter, but if you type her name in on Twitch's platform, you're gonna get a no results found. So I'll update you guys whenever I have some more information, but currently, for the time being, if you type her name in on Google, you're gonna find a ton of clips of this. Like, she's been doing this for ages, it's just all of a sudden it finally went viral. In fact, the clip I'm actually about to show you guys, I think it's a lot worse, if I'm being completely honest. First, she's gonna spit on the microphone, and then fill her f***ing mouth hole with it, and then she's gonna continue on and say, like, oh, it's our dirty little secret or something. I don't know, dude, it's so fucking weird. Like, I'm really just trying to wrap my head around the thought that people actually enjoy that. Like, they actually find that amusing to them. Now, if you're watching on your phone, you're not getting the full experience, but if you go put some headphones in and listen to that clip, you'll understand what I'm talking about, bro. I think you'd almost rather have some nails on a chalkboard. And like I mentioned earlier, I understand that ASMR is meant to be a category where you can go and listen to these different types of sounds and find them oddly satisfying. I get that. But listening to some e-girl on Twitch tongue punch my ear hole one at a time, I don't really know about that, bro. That just ain't for me. Now, I will say, I know I've picked on this streamer quite a bit, but if I'm being completely honest here, she's not the only one. In fact, if you go on the Twitch ASMR category, all the top streamers are girls sitting around in their underwear. And you know, I've been saying this, and I'm gonna continue to say it, until Twitch actually cracks down on these e-girls, ain't nothing gonna change, bro. They're just all gonna find new things to do. Like this month, it's face fucking yourself with a microphone, and who knows, maybe next month you'll shove it in your asshole. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I wanna give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all time. We have Zingies and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Right, and just don't, don't just be nice to girls just because you want to date them, okay? Be nice to girls because you're a nice person. Bye, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you so much for all your support and watching. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today We're gonna be talking about well the girl who sucked on a microphone and seemed to go semi-viral this week Yeah, she's back. All right So hopefully most of you can understand who I'm referring to here But if you haven't you're not really aware of the situation I'll throw a picture up on the screen boom there it is you got to be real quick man Unfortunately, Susan is uh, taking down videos left and right, you know, I, I just I don't understand why it's almost like Susan doesn't like like watching these women suck on phallic objects, you know, while they're out there streaming to children, but hey, to each their own. Anyways, I want to give you guys some context concerning like the entire situation here. And um, more importantly, though, now that we are out of 30 seconds in this video, I can now officially say this woman is mentally fucking insane, dude. Like I would honestly recommend not getting within 100 feet of her. You might catch the stupids. All right. So just a quick rundown of the entire situation. So this woman was on Twitch streaming one day. She shoved the microphone down her throat, proceeded to face fuck herself with her own goddamn microphone so i guess that clip was relatively old and it somehow resurfaced over on twitter and obviously when that happened it just it blew up and that's when people like me decided to make videos on it and then she caught a twitch ban see that's where most people think the story ends but oh no my pedigree chums listen up all right this is just the beginning of the end so dying food or difo as most of you may know him by he actually reached out to this woman and uh, asked her if she wanted to do an interview 
you come on the channel and explain her side of the story because she was out there preaching all over fucking Twitter, bro. Oh, these people, they got the story wrong. They messed it up. They're not even letting me speak. They're doing me an injustice. Like, I really don't understand how you can claim these people messed up the story and they got it all wrong when I mean, like, there's a fucking video. There is actual video evidence of you shoving this microphone down your throat and fucking gagging on it. Like, I just, I don't understand, dude. There's really not much to mess up. I mean, I'd say the video speaks for itself. Well, anyways, getting back on track here. So she actually accepted Daifo's interview. They followed through with it and um, it was a great video. I'm not even gonna lie, I gained some respect for her throughout the video because she just came out here and just threw it all out there, man. She's like, listen, I'm a thought, I'm just doing thought things, just trying to make some money, and I respect that approach. However, there's one thing I don't respect about this woman, and that's how fucking mentally ill she is, alright? So I'm actually gonna show you guys a clip from Daifo's video, and I want you guys to take some mental notes here, okay? You know, things like, oh, is this woman in fear of her life? Is she scared? Does she look unhappy? Like, I want you guys to think about that, and we'll reassess afterwards. Uh, uh, actually, let me answer a question, because I saw a lot of people asking the same question that you haven't asked yet. Yeah, yeah, totally. Go for it. Uh, do I have daddy issues? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, and I'm okay Come with on. that because I feel like everybody lives up to a stereotype that they're afraid to admit. Actually, let me answer a question. Oh my god. Um, and I'm okay <laughs> Come with on. that. Now, after watching that clip, you should have subscribed to the channel already and left a like on this video. You know why? Because you support hot moms, just like I do, which is a great thing. I love it. It's truly one of my favorite things in life. Anyways, after you guys subscribed to the world's greatest doctor, did you realize what was going on with this woman's emotions? You know, was she unstable? I think that the very obvious answer here is, um, no. In fact, she seems to be having a great time during this interview. Now, I know I'm showing you guys 20 seconds of a 20 minute long video, but but I think by this 20 seconds alone, you can get a pretty good idea of how the video was rolling. Well, anyways, I say all of that because it appears this woman has used her uh, mental insanity to her advantage here, and it looks like she's going to turn on Daifo. She's pissed. I was lucky enough to have someone send me this conversation between them, and she starts off by saying, thanks, it was a two-hour interview, and he still clipped the shit out of me to spin his narrative, but whatever. Now, if you actually watch Daifo's video and you have an IQ higher than a frog, you'll probably realize, well, there is no fucking narrative here. It's just asking her stupid questions. Anyways, she then responds by saying, kinda, I didn't really want to focus on my daddy issues. Fool put it in the clip not once, but twice, whatever. I guess I'm the catch me outside girl to the world now. Now this is where I really have an issue here because uh, you're the dumb bitch that brought up the daddy issues in the first place, all right? Out of nowhere, man, like out of straight thin air, she says, oh, if you don't mind, I'd like to address something. But yeah, you know, she didn't really want to focus on these issues. She just fucking brought them up and continued talking about them all by herself. But it doesn't stop there. Actually, before she accepted the interview with Daifo, she was begging everyone, especially Optimus for some reason. I mean, I know the dude's got a lot of followers and everything, but she had her fist so far up his fucking ass, dude. And eventually, Optimus got sick of her shit, and he just responded to her and said, just tweet out whatever the fuck you want, you know? We'll, we'll talk about it on Twitter. I don't see a reason to bring you on my channel, though. She didn't take that too easy. Unfortunately, I don't know how often she deals with her Rejection. I'd say she doesn't have a father figure in her life, so probably quite often, but for some reason this time it just struck her a little bit harder than the rest. So this is like three days after Optimus stopped replying to her, right? Like she has been constantly tweeting this man, even though he's no longer responding at this point. She says, at Optimus, I asked for an interview, but he insisted I post everything to Twitter. I said I can't fit everything into one tweet but tweeted multiple tweets anyways in good faith. He then split up all my tweets to make me look crazy, almost called off the dying food because of rudeness. Apparently wanting to express freedom of speech and communities outside of my own to clear up some wrong information that my community already knows is wrong is uh, clout chasing. I could have just posted it on my own platform to people who already know me. Again, you stupid fuck. What could be wrong? There's visual evidence. We saw the video. We saw you deep throat that mic. Honestly, though, my favorite part of all of this, this entire situation, is when she calls out Optimus saying that he's trying to make her 
look crazy. I just love seeing a fucking psycho claim to like not be crazy, you know, because Daifo said in his video, he didn't respond to this girl for like a certain amount of time, whatever. She texted him 42 times, 42 times before this man even had a chance to respond. And I counted at one point in our DMs, right? D DMs are private. We wouldn't leak them, but there was one yeah. point where you messaged me 42 times in a row. No, yeah, so. I said I was giving you. Well, I said I was giving you content. But yeah, Optimus split up the tweets, and that he was trying to make you look crazy. But I could really tell Optimus was like, "Oh my God, I need to take this girl down with like a thousand subscribers." Anyways, my pedigree chums, the lesson of the day is just stay the fuck away from these people, man. It's literally the best thing you can do. I'm honestly not gonna lie. I thought about reaching out to this woman at one point in time and asking her to come on my channel, and um, I am. I'm so fucking glad that I did not. That could have been disastrous. I don't know, man. I just thought it'd be funny if I could ask some, like, really outlandish questions. And, um, well, I think I'll find an OnlyFans model that is not mentally insane to do that with. Anyways, it's clear as day. This woman, she is clout chasing. She's doing anything and everything she can. You know, she realizes that this is her time. It's her viral moment, and she wants to capitalize off of it as much as possible. But there's a way to do it where you don't look like a fucking idiot, you know? I don't know if she just never got attention growing up as a kid in her life and you know maybe this is the one time that she's ever actually gotten attention before and now she's just like a, it's like a drug she's addicted to it either way princess if this makes you feel that much better here you can have a handwritten prescription from the world's greatest doctor himself you're a fucking hoe bitch that actually just reminded me she got more upset about people calling her a fake gamer you know you're not a real gamer girl she got more upset about that than if these people were out here calling her a slut and you know whatever whatever other term you would like to use to describe a girl in the uh, industry if you will anyways guys i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time we have jenna tolls zingies and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support it means everything to me if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later Sup dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a teacher that was just trying to surprise her children at the school with some cupcakes and well, I don't think everyone knew exactly that there was going to be a uh, secret ingredient. I would love to tell you guys what that ingredient is, but unfortunately, you know, Susan out there, Susan, hey, we're good. I love you. We're best friends and everything. But damn, do I hate waiting 30 seconds before I can actually say anything in the video, you know? Anyways, I guess while we're waiting, you know, we can always check out the uh, visual evidence here. And hey, man, I know I am a man of MILFs, all right? I love the hot moms out there. I am all about them. So obviously, I might be a little biased, all right? Whatever, I don't care. All I'm trying to say here is that um, if I was struggling in math, I wouldn't have any problems staying a little late after class, if you uh, catch what I'm saying. And I already know there's going to be a Jimmy down there in the comments saying to himself, Ew, man, what the fuck, dude? That's fucking nasty. Jimmy, I swear to God, man, I swear to God, I would shove my fist so far up your fucking ass. You would uh, be, you would make a great puppet. I'll just leave it at that. Now, one thing I would also like to point out is that when it comes to rating your teacher, that's a little bit of a different scale compared to like the rest of the world. Like I'm just saying, bro, all my teachers back in school, they looked like this. So if like a solid three was walking around, are you really going to turn it down at that point? You know, anyways, getting back to the story now. So this woman is an elementary school teacher and I guess one day she decided to bring some cupcakes for the kids at class. I could be wrong here, I'm no baker, but like I'm pretty sure most cupcakes have cream cheese frosting. Well, these cupcakes, they definitely had some cream frosting, but the factory was this guy right here. 
I mean, honestly, this sounds like something straight out of a fucking movie, bro. You have the elementary school teacher, you know, she's just a cute little girl. The husband is the sheriff of the town. And next thing you know, they're out here doing some real shit, like really, really bad shit. I'm just talking about the cupcakes right now, but uh, it gets a lot worse, man. I got to be careful how I phrase this because I don't want YouTube to take my channel down or anything like that. But I'm just saying, you know, if you guys are familiar with the story of uh, Jared from Subway, Let's just say he had a lot of movies at his house and well this couple they had a lot of movies that were very similar I guess you could say now let's dive into the article here fellas But before we do as always if you enjoy hot moms like I do preferably ones that are not like this You know into the whole fucking shit up it. I don't know man either way if you enjoyed today's video Please be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and guys without wasting any more goddamn time Let's get right into it a lawsuit filed against Dennis Perkins and the Livingston Parish school system claims that Cynthia Perkins filmed her husband supplying semen for the cupcakes that were later fed to children at Westside Junior High. The couple alleges the semen was mixed into both the desserts and energy drinks before it was served to the victims. Dude, there are so many red flags. I honestly, I don't even know where the fuck to begin. I don't. I'm just saying EDP probably wouldn't even want one of these fucking cupcakes and that's bad. So I guess one thing in this story that's like kind of big for me, at least my biggest question is, did the woman know that she was putting some, some juices in these cupcakes when she was making them? I think I've looked through about 15 articles now and no one has made a statement, you know, whether she knew that there was some actual semen in these cupcakes or not. Like, don't get me wrong. There's definitely a chance the husband found a way to sneak these into the cupcakes when she was making them or something. I know I'm about to make a little bit of an assumption here, but I think that's pretty unlikely. I feel like this woman had to have known what was going into these cupcakes. I mean, like, you're making these for your fucking kids at school. You're not just throwing random ingredients and, ah, fuck it, you know, why not? Let's just add a little extra seasoning in there. Anyways, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this woman, she had to have known that there was some extra fluid in these cupcakes. Now, obviously, you gotta be, like, pretty fucked up to even think about doing something like that, but also, at the same time, what enjoyment do you get out of that? I just, I truly don't understand. Like, I think it's a little too late to pull the, oh, it's just a prank card, but, like, I really don't understand the enjoyment you get out of this, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure we've all spiked a friend's drink at one point in our life, you know, it's funny. For instance, one time I pissed in my friend's can of Monster, and he came back, drank it, you know, me and all the boys were laughing. Obviously, what I did, it was a little fucked up, okay? But it's funny, it's different, it's with the boys, like, it's just, it is what it is. This, though, you're talking about fucking children in a school setting. Like, you've really gotta be just straight up fucked in the head to think that feeding children some special cupcakes is even remotely funny. Anyways, moving on here, this couple allegedly has 150 charges against them at the moment, and some of them are, like, pretty fucking bad. I can't even say them on YouTube here. The article goes on to say that Cynthia resigned from her junior high school the day after her arrest, while Dennis was fired from his deputy role at the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office. Cynthia's lawyer then came out and made a statement saying, he is the real monster. That's what she wants to make clear. It's not about shifting the blame she took responsibility today i mean that's what she did but she looks forward to going after the real monster now i really don't want to make too many accusations because honestly we don't have that much information like i said there's 150 charges pending against the couple and every single article i've looked at has like 15 sentences at the most you know like we really don't have a whole lot of the information here but i did find it interesting that cynthia filed for divorce from her husband dennis and at the same time, she's accusing him of being the monster. If you guys and gals don't mind, I'd like to make my own little statement here. You know, let's get one thing straight, and that's that uh, you're both fucking monsters. I don't know who does shit like this for fun. I really hope that both of you enjoy your anal fisting behind the bars. You know, that sounds like a great time. I wish I could be there, uh, but unfortunately, I can't. 
But I'm just saying, you know, if it was my child that you fed that cupcake to, I would uh, I would find a way to be there, if that makes sense. No matter how you look at things, it's just, it's a sad story overall. Like I mentioned earlier, it sounds like something straight out of a fucking movie, you know? Like, you have the cute elementary school teacher, and then you have the sheriff in town, and they become a couple, and they have, like, babies and shit. Now, they say that all great things must come to an end, and, um... You know, sometimes things end, like, peacefully. Uh, this thing, though, oh my god. This relationship just ended like a shit-filled fucking diaper on fire, crashing its way down to the Earth's atmosphere like a fucking meteorite, man. Like, it, it's done. I mean, you might as well just take this relationship out behind the barn and just put it the fuck down because, well, it's dead at this point. And anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I wanna give a shout-out to the world's greatest channel members of all fucking time we have uh jenna tolls zingies and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support it means everything to me if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me and i'll catch you guys next time later dudes and dudettes welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day today guys we've got big news all right but before we get into that news i would highly recommend subscribing to the channel within the next like 10 seconds or so otherwise you run the risk of your mother getting boned in the back seat of a dirty car at the movie theater you don't want that i don't want that nobody wants that do yourself a favor, subscribe. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the first Victoria's Secret model with Down syndrome. Now, this might not sound like a big deal to most of you. If it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to you, you know, that's fine. It's whatever to each their own. But I just want you to know when you hop in bed tonight and you're laying there, you just can't fall asleep. I just want you to remember that you're racist. And the only way to not be racist is to subscribe to the channel of course all right so let's go ahead and get a good look at the visuals here and i think most of you will agree with me when i say uh damn all right she is not that bad looking at all in fact she actually looks like kind of fucking jacked bro i mean she appears to be less than five feet tall but could probably spider monkey her way around some people if you know what i'm saying now, there's one thing I'd like to point out here, all right, and I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm not saying it to be a douchebag, which I am, but I'm not trying to be one here. Um, she does not appear to be a full d me, all right, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly, now that I think about it, I should probably censor that word because uh, somebody out there is going to think that I just said a, uh, a, uh, oh, a uh, slur. And of course, I would never say that, so I don't even know why you were thinking that, you stupid fuck. Anyways, getting back on track here, I honestly think this is a great thing, you know? I really enjoy seeing those stories where someone might have a disability and they find a way to overcome it. I'm not even kidding, just a few hours ago, I was reading a story about a guy with no fucking legs, right? And he became a mechanic. Like, he actually works on cars himself. He doesn't need any help from anyone else. I think that's fucking fantastic. I know that most of the videos I make here on my channel are usually negative, right? They're not good, you know, fuck this person and fuck that person and, and that's great and all, but every now and then I like a good success story. Not too often though, let's not get away with things here, let's not, let's not get out of control. But I thought this was an interesting move by Victoria's Secret because, well, if you took a look at their models from just like five years ago, they all pretty much looked like the same exact person. I think they were all like 95 pounds. Pretty much your rib cage had to be showing and you weren't allowed to have tits. And if that was the case, congrats, you were a Victoria's Secret model. It's funny because I actually remember like all the horror stories you would hear about how to become a Victoria's Secret model. Like you actually had to starve yourself for several days and, and smoke cigarettes as crazy as it sounds, but it helped them lose weight. 
Nowadays, though, it seems like Victoria's Secret is going to be changing up their business model a little bit, and they want to try and be more inclusive to everyone, which is great, right? That's fantastic and all, but um, just don't be fucking stupid, all right? Pretty much, if you just take a look at Twitch's platform, you'll see an example of what not to do, all right? Like, I get it. You want to have some trannies on your website. That's fantastic. If it were me, I would measure all their dicks before they are allowed to sign up to the website, and if they are under three inches, then they are allowed in. Obviously, I'm just being the silly goose right now, okay? Um, basically, the point that I'm trying to make is that Twitch is not very good about treating everyone equally. Right? Like, I'm pretty sure a couple weeks ago, some dude on Twitch just, I'm talking straight up, whipped it out and started shaving on stream. And, um, he got permabanned from the platform entirely. Whereas, like, last year, there was a girl who backed her rear end up to the camera. Like, that booty hole was straight up a nose distance away from the camera. She spread it wide open for the whole world to see. And she only got a two-day ban or something. Like, maybe it was two weeks. I don't remember exactly, but I do know the crime, it did not fit the punishment whatsoever. And it was pretty clear Twitch had a bias there. So yeah, Twitch is stupid, but anyways, I was actually supposed to read from an article. I went through, I got the screenshots and everything, and I just been too busy fucking yapping in this video, man. I mean, this article, it doesn't really have anything fucking important to say anyways. Like, I'm just, I'm, I've said everything you need to know, alright? Pretty much, just to summarize it, uh, this model's name is Sophia Giraru? Giaru or something like that. She's from Puerto Rico. She's 24 years old. She said that this is her dream come true. And then if we take a look at the next slide here, it just basically says that like Victoria's Secret is rebranding and they are actually trying to be inclusive now. I think the big wigs over there at the Secret Palace have decided, you know what? I guess not every woman in America is white and 90 pounds anymore. Maybe we should change like 20 fucking years later. So yeah, I don't really have a whole lot more to add to this story. Honestly, dude, my head fucking hurts. Like, you can probably tell I've had a few drinks. And I like it that way, man. But, um, anyways, I also like when you guys are channel members. Because I, I fucking love my channel members. Uh, we have the world's greatest here. We have Jenna Tolls, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the to the hot moms, all right? Don't even subscribe to me. Fuck my channel. My channel's shit. It's dog shit, bro. Subscribe to the MILFs, man. That's where it's at, fellas. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. What's up dudes welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day today so fellas we need to talk about an adult film actress doing something really dirty all right and i'm not talking about shoving no banana in any other hole okay something that's never been seen before now i think i speak for most men when i say this and that's uh i'm pretty sure we've all dreamed of being effed by lana Rhodes before it does sound pretty good but i never thought i would be fucked quite like this well, I mean, realistically, I shouldn't say me, because, you know, I wasn't the actual one that fucking did this, um, but the neckbeard losers that bang BBWs and shit, man, I feel sorry for them to an extent, right? Now, I'd like to preface this video by saying all of my information is coming from CoffeeZilla. He's like the fucking, he's like some MacGyver dude, man. He's got all these PCs and shit, and he can find out. He can probably see your dick pics on your phone right now if he wanted to. I mean, I don't know if he necessarily wants to, but if he does, I'll support him either way, you know, uh, equality and LGBTQ, let's go. I'm just trying to be inclusive, guys, but anyways, I think you get the point. Listen, we're talking about Lana Rhodes starting her own NFT project. I really hope most of you know what an NFT is by now, but if you're a bit of a boomer, it's all right, I can explain it to you. So it stands for non-fungible token or something like that. And um, basically, it's just a picture on the internet and people pay money for it and then they trade it and sell it and shit. I don't know, dude. I don't really do it. I'm not into NFTs, but I understand it's a pretty big market right now. 
Anyways, this is pretty much what her NFTs look like. They're all basically the same. It's just it like sometimes they change the clothing or their scenery in the background. I don't know, dude. Like there's there's not much to this. So here is where things really start to take a turn for the worst. I mean, it's almost as if she just ran out of lube and um things are things are about to get very, very dry out here. So the name of the project is Cryptosis, and she was posting about it on her Instagram the other day. She says, ask me anything about my upcoming NFT project. Someone replies and just basically asks, like, why the hell should I buy this? And Lana responds by saying, my number one goal for the project is to increase the value of Cryptosis NFTs and make it a lucrative investment for holders that they can sell for more than what they paid to mint. And really that right there is the number one issue that most people have with what Lana just did. She essentially did a rug pull, if you're familiar with that term. Essentially, she promoted the NFT to be more of an investment opposed to like just buying artwork. You know, if she came out and said like, hey guys, I'm selling some artwork of myself. That's one thing, but she promoted it as if it's an investment. Hey, buy this for $4,000. you are going to be able to sell it for 20000 next year. Unfortunately for the people that lick windows, wear helmets, and, you know, ride on the bus that's shorter than the rest of them, they ain't gonna be seeing that money anytime soon, that's for damn sure. You know, it's kind of funny because Lana's entire existence, well, I shouldn't say that, but her whole career is built on pumping and dumping, and um, she's tired of getting fucked, man. She wanted to fuck over everyone else, so what actually happened here is Lana said her fans were being too negative about the artwork, and this right here, okay, I'm about to show you this, this is the message that caused her to just sell everything. It's really funny too because it takes place in a fucking Discord as if anyone in Discord says things that are like intelligent and shit, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. So this dude's, uh, excuse me, oh my god, uh, I don't want to misgender this person by any means, so uh, this thing, them, they slash them army, said, I spent what I can't lose, spent $4,000, on total I had 6000 now I'm only left with $2,000, I have no job. And I got a two-year-old son, if only someone bought my Christmas Lana. Now, I understand, you know, as a father, you're out here, you're just trying to make more money, right? $6,000 in the grand scheme of things, like, you can't buy shit with that, right? Like, you can get a shitty fucking car. Like, I get it, you're trying to make more money, you just want to live comfortably for you and your son, but what the fuck are you doing spending over half of your cash on a picture? Now this right here, my pedigree chums, is the definition of post-nut clarity, right? Like, this man is finally waking up to his senses and he realizes, oh my god, I fucked up royally. Like I mentioned earlier, I get it, you're just trying to make some extra cash, but let's not be completely fucking stupid about the way we spend our money, especially when we have a two-year-old son at home. So this message overall, it's bad, right? It's really bad for the person in this scenario, but what makes it even worse is Lana saw this message and she said to herself, I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to just fucking stream and have a good time. Maybe have a good game. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much when Lana decided, you know what, it is time to do the fucking, and she removed $1.5 million from the crypto wallet, and, um, pretty much just cashed the fuck out. With all that being said, I think it's pretty obvious now that this entire NFT project, it was all a fucking scam from the start, right? Like, she was out there fishing, she was looking for a reason to just get this cash and dip, and um, all it took was someone typing, so honestly, it was probably her on her fucking burner, typing those messages just so she can pull off this PR stunt, right? She claims to have been surrounded by negativity and she just couldn't take it anymore. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? You live in a goddamn mansion in LA and drive like a fucking Mercedes and you never have to work another day in your life, right? You are living the dream. But yet, here you fucking are, scamming your own fans who work like a 9 to 5 just so they can jerk off to you at night. Dude, I just, I don't get it, man. I really don't. And as for everyone else that actually bought the NFTs, what the fuck did you expect, you know? You're talking to a woman that built her entire career on taking it in the fucking ass, dude. I mean, honestly, just take a step back and ask yourself a question. Do you really think a woman in that scenario is ever going to care if your children get fed tonight? And the answer is just hell no. 
Either way, man, Lana, she got her money. It's dirty money, but, I mean, it still spins just like the rest of it, you know? So it's still going to buy her a G-Wagon this weekend. Anyways, fellas, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest goddamn channel members of all fucking time, okay? All of these people, they get the hot moms. They know what's up. So shout out to Factionator, Jenna Tolls, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later so it has been brought to my attention that we're about 15 seconds away from the eight minute mark in this video and as most of you know i just spent four thousand dollars on a christmas lana and now i can't feed my kids man so i need to stretch this video out to eight minutes so i can feed okay great see you guys bye right and just don't don't just be nice to girls just because you want to date them okay be nice to girls because you're a nice person <laughs> So much. Thank you so much for all your support and watching. up dudes welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual and um that include if you are a woman you just so happen to be one uh i hope you're having a great day too you know i don't and anything else by the way all right i don't want to leave anyone out here i am the most inclusive man on the planet in fact i do not care what is in your pants all right i have no interest i mean unless well let me take that back. I might have a little interest, but um, all I care about is that you hate unicorns, okay? I just want to break that fucking horn off and shove it in their goddamn ass. Anyways, we're not really here to talk about that. You know, I apologize. I didn't exactly mean to go off on that little tangent there. Um, But what we are here to talk about is a male streamer is being accused of being sexist. Now, you might be asking yourself, Doc, what could this man have possibly done? Is he just telling women in games to just, like, shut the f*** up? Did he ever come out and just like deliberately say, I hate women and I just, I can't stand them? Oh, fellas, it's way worse than that, all right? It is, I can't believe I'm even about to say this, honestly, but um, he ignores them in game. I shouldn't even say that he ignores them because it's so much worse than that. He mutes them. And to me, that's like straight up insanity because not only are you ignoring a woman, but you're suppressing her by muting her, you know, like you're a fucking bigot at that point. All right, let me stop, man. Let's have a little come to Jesus meeting here and I'll actually explain what's going down. So this streamer goes by the name of Jason R. From what I can tell, he's actually a pretty big streamer over on Twitch, plays a lot of Valorant. One thing he doesn't play, though, is with women. So Jason is actually being accused of being a true sexist in the year 2022. Never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. And what I mentioned earlier, it's all true. So if he is playing a game of Valorant and he hears a woman speak, he is going to mute the entire lobby because he doesn't want to be involved around another woman. Now, the reason for all of this is because Jason claims to be married and that he would never even think about another woman. And to that, I say, is a big load of giant bullshit, in my opinion. Like, Jason, come on, bro. You can admit it. We've all been at a restaurant with our wife, a significant other, right? And some other woman walks right past you and she has a fat fucking caboose on the back of her. You can't tell me for a second that, like, you're sitting there locking eyes with your wife. You have a sweat bead rolling down your forehead. And you don't even, like, take a peek for, like, just a second, man. Like, come on, dude. We've all been there. Anyways, I want to show you guys a clip from his stream where he starts going off about how he would never disrespect his wife and anyone who challenges that statement, he's just going to fucking permaban him. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. If you do enjoy today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the content and whatever the fuck else, man. And let's just get into it. Stop disrespecting women. How do I disrespect women? I don't talk to them. How do I disrespect women? Sorry, I didn't know that not interacting with them is disrespecting them my bad is this some sort of new shit that you fucking pussies cry about is this some new shit i do not support misogyny i do not support sexism I, and i do not yeah, support being rude to my wife for absolutely no reason so those guys those three mods ban all of those okay 
I ban all of those things. Where are all the VODs of when I was smurfing where there were girls in my games? Where are those VODs? I've probably played fucking... Shut your fucking mouth, Stewie. I got a fucking platform. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, go ahead. Bark for me, bitch. Bow down to the Lord Pig himself. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. Just playing, fellas. I have no idea what the fuck was going on at the end of the video there. So as you guys can probably tell by now, this guy is very adamant about the fact of he will never play with another one. Okay, over my dead body would I ever play with another woman on a video game. I mean, Jason, what can I say, man? The girls, they just, they, they like those pubes on top of your head. It just looks like a cloud up there. All right, so just to make things clear, there's pretty much two groups of people that are involved in this uh, little scuffle here. First are the people defending Jason, saying, well, he's married, he has a wife. If he doesn't want to play with other women to respect his wife, you know, he doesn't have to. And then there are the people saying that he's sexist, of course, and he just, he fucking hates women because he won't play video games with them. Like, boo-hoo, cry me a fucking river, bitch, all right? I DM Dream, the Minecraft guy on uh, Twitter this morning, and I said, hey, Dream, you want to play some Fortnite with me? He never responded, all right? I think Dream is sexist against men, and in fact, pigs, too, because I am the Lord Pig himself. Or could it be because I'm a gynecologist and, and I like pussy and maybe Dream... Oh, dude, oh, I think I might be onto something here. Maybe Dream likes dick. Now, I'm not going to hard accuse Dream of liking penis, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. You know, just keep it in the back of your minds for now. With that being said, man, I'm not really on a side here in this situation. Like, I think both sides are stupid as fuck. You know, play games who you want to play with. If Mr. Pubic Hair Man himself says that he refuses to play with women out of respect for his wife, then you know what? Fuck it, dude. Just let him be. Obviously, he's a liar because, I mean, we've all jacked off to a video or two. Even if we are married or in a relationship, I mean, it's just, it's life, man. It happens. And you know, I wasn't going to go here, but because I already talked about the dream, you know, whole situation here, maybe Jason just plays with guys because he too likes penis. I mean, what do I know? You know, I once heard a wise man say there's different strokes for different folks, and I really think that applies here in this situation. Like, we've been through this whole thing before, bro, with Ninja a couple years ago. You know, Ninja came out and was like, oh, I won't play Fortnite with Pokemon because it's cheating on my wife. You know, I'm not looking at Pokemon's tits or nothing, but I'm just playing Fortnite. It's cheating, man. It's cheating. I wouldn't do it. All right, that's fine. Don't do it. I don't think you're sexist. I think you're stupid, but, you know, whatever, to each their own. Like, if you're in a relationship and your wife is actually mad because you're playing a video game with another girl, I think it's time to reevaluate your life and then perhaps change the wife too. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest goddamn members on the face of the fucking planet, all right? Shout out to Factionator, Jenna Tolls, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support Hot Moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. What's up dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So uh, fellas, we got a topic that I wasn't necessarily going to cover. It seemed like pretty self-explanatory, but the farther I looked into things, I decided, you know what? Maybe it is a good decision to go ahead and talk about some stinky clouds coming out of Amaranth's booty hole. So for those of you that are unaware at the moment, Amaranth posted yesterday on her Twitter account that she has started a new business. Hey, congratulations. That is just what we needed. More women in the workplace. But I didn't necessarily mean by sticking a can in your asshole and just extinguishing your scent. So she tweeted out, I started a new business. Have you ever wanted to smell your favorite streamer or own their hot tub water in physical form, not in NF? <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, Amaranth. Um, say less, cutiepatooties.me. 
So obviously starting a business like this is pretty crazy, but like not that crazy anymore. You know, if you would have started a fart selling business five years ago, people would like quite literally point and laugh at you right in front of your own stupid face. And nowadays we're talking about Amrith making a million dollars off of farting, fucking farting, man. Something we all do. We have all smelt a fart before. But here we are, nowadays, we got some fucking dweebs out here that are gonna pay a thousand dollars, man. A thousand fucking dollars to smell a booty hole. Like, bro, if you're just trying to smell some ass, I will let you sniff my asshole clean, okay? For free! For free, that is! We gotta be living in, like, a fucking simulation, dude. I, I swear to God, all these flat earthers and people that say, like, birds are run by the government... Maybe they're not that fucking crazy after all. I mean, hell, if any of you are interested, I am starting a business today selling farts and I'm only going to charge a hundred bucks. How's that? I think that's a fair price. You know, you get to smell the king pig's asshole and um, I get to fart. So, I mean, I do it for free anyways, but you know, it's funny too, because she actually included a video of how she's making these jar of farts. And um, how many people do you think jerked off to that fucking video, dude? And I gotta say, like, it's a pretty pathetic attempt to fart in a jar, right? If I were to do it, if I were going to sell some uh, booty hole scents, I would quite literally spread my ass cheeks, shove that jar halfway in my fucking crack and just let her rip. Amaranth, she didn't even take off her pants. She didn't even sit on the goddamn jar. She just kind of like tooted in the area and closed the lid, bro. Like, oh my God, for a thousand dollars, that's what you're getting for a thousand Anyways, here's the description that she provided on her website. Have you ever wanted to know what your favorite streamer smells like? Now's your chance with this super exclusive limited edition scent jar made especially by Amaranth for you. This includes one scent filled jar made exclusively to order with a real human hair from Amaranth herself. Each jar is autographed by Amaranth and hand numbered from one to a thousand quantity extremely limited. So if we go ahead and do some simple math here, she's making a thousand bottles and selling each one for a thousand dollars. That's an easy mill, an easy fucking mill for farting. Oh, and by the way, if you are interested, she's also selling some hot tub water for 200 bucks. You know, if, if you're trying to get a bargain, you're trying to save some money here, go ahead and pick up a bottle of fucking hot tub water. And listen, fellas, if any of you watching this right now are even like slightly interested, you're like, yeah, man, I know Doc is dissing on her and all that shit, but I, I might actually kind of want to sniff her booty hole. My question to you is just why, man? Like, why would you want to buy this? I understand, you know, if it was like 50 bucks, you pick it up, you give it to one of your homies on his birthday as like a joke, right? But a thousand, man, like that's less than most people's rent, most people's car payment. Like, dude, that is so much fucking money for something that is going to last 10 seconds. Like if you were to buy Amaranth's used underwear, I can at least understand, you know, I don't, I don't know if you fucking wear it like on your dong or you put it on your face and walk around. The I don't know, dude. I don't know what these people do and no judgment here, by the way, you know, no judgment, nothing like that. I'm not saying you're weird, but uh, I just, I'm confused, man. I just, I just want to know, like, I would like to speak to one of these people. Like, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of what they do with these jars whenever they get them. But you know, I just like a little clarification. Either way, man, I literally, I can't even hate on Amaranth right now if I fucking wanted to, dude. Like, she is literally reaping the benefits of her career. She really is. And no matter how outrageous the price is to sniff a dirty asshole, if people are willing to pay it, it's not that outrageous. All I'm gonna say here, man, is that it's literally just a matter of time before Amaranth starts dropping some nasty fucking dookies in some jars and handing them out on the street corner for a mill. Anyways, if there is one thing I want you guys to take away from today's video, it's that if you like that booty hole, you like that dirty booty hole smell, I will ship you a jar of my farts for 50 bucks, man. And trust me when I say this, I will make sure that is a scent you won't forget. Like when you take that lid off, I want it to damn near knock you out, bro. I don't know if I need to like eat some celery or something before, but I'll figure it out, man. I'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest goddamn channel members on the face of the fucking planet, dude. I swear to God, these are the best, man, right here. We have Factionator, Genitals, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. Um, more importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms and 
suck on some fucking hot mom tits tonight because god damn i know i sure do but uh yeah anyways all right i'll catch you guys later bye What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As usual, you know, I was having a good day. It's snowing outside. I was like, oh, dude, this is perfect. I can snuggle up on the couch, drink some hot chocolate with the marshmallows in it, and watch a lot of fucking porn, bro. Like, I was so excited. So excited. I had so many good videos picked out. And then, lo and behold, Kim Kardashian ruined my day once again. So yesterday, Kim Kardashian did an interview with Variety, and there was a lot of good quotes that came from this, but my personal favorite was when she said, I have the best advice for women in business. Get your f***ing ass up and get to work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You know, that's a fantastic quote and everything, but like, she left the part out where Kim was born into money. She was literally just born into a family that's f***ing rich, and all she's famous for is getting boned on camera. So yeah, when it comes to getting business advice for women, you know, Kim Kardashian is probably not the person you should be looking up to. In fact, there's actually a video of this interview. I want to play it for you guys, but first, you know, if you enjoy today's content, you like hot moms, you want to smash a hot mom this week, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and let's get into it. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to. Have so to, true. You have to. <laughs> Dude, there's no way you can be real right now. Are you fucking kidding me? I honestly can't believe what I just heard. A bunch of women standing around talking about business inspiration, right? All because of their fathers and their husbands? That are the reason they're famous? Like, there's actually no way, bro. This is, this is too fucking funny right here, okay? Kim has all these booty hole lickers behind her, backing up everything she says, like, yes, girl, that's so true, this preach. Meanwhile, Kim is making the most painfully obvious statements I've ever heard in my fucking life, dude. You gotta surround yourself with good people. You gotta do something you love. I mean, that's like the equivalent of me coming out here and saying, criminals are bad people and cancer is not a good thing have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If everyone actually took her advice, there would be fucking nothing getting done in this country, right? Like, don't surround yourself in a toxic work environment. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we don't need fucking construction anymore. I mean, I was going to build that new highway so a lot of people could commute to work a lot faster, but no, dude, it's, it's fucking toxic. Why would I ever do that? Fellas, this right here, what we're all witnessing, is a sheltered life. Someone that has no idea what the actual living fuck goes on in the world. Alright, so I actually just read a little farther into the article, and I found something. You guys, you have to fucking see this, dude, okay? So Kim told Variety, it started in high school when she was working at a boutique, and in her dad's office, Kardashian said that she discovered eBay while she was working at Robert Sr.'s office and loved shopping. So Kim called up this fucking store, right? She buys five pairs of these shoes for $700 each and resold them on eBay for $2,500. That's how she became obsessed with the return. She began to sell off her own clothes that she no longer wore. That's it. That's the secret. The secret to fucking life, fellas. It was right there the whole time. All you had to do was sell shit on eBay and you become a $1.8 billion star later on. This is such fucking horseshit, bro. Like, I, I actually hate when these people try to relate to, like, the normal people, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kim is actually out here trying to tell us, yeah, I was one of you, I was poor at one point in my life. Bro, this was her childhood house, okay? It doesn't look like a whole lot, but you gotta remember, this was the house back in 1978. Her father paid $383,000 for this. Of course, it's in Beverly Hills, you know, it doesn't sound like a whole lot right now. But if we do a quick little conversion of what that price would be nowadays, you know, with current inflation and everything, that's essentially a $2 million house. Let me just go ahead and put some things into perspective for you guys, all right? So let's pretend you're a child, you grew up in Beverly Hills, right? A place that is not very cheap. You grew up in a $2 million mansion. You have never had to worry if you're going to be fed for your next meal. Like, you'd never have to worry about a thing, right? And then somewhere, you get the goddamn balls to go out there on the internet and just tell all the peasants, all the fucking poor people, work harder. Are you fucking kidding me right now? 
Kim is actually stupid as fuck for even saying this, bro. I swear to God, I hope the next time she sits down, she shoves a cactus so far up her fucking ass. I just want you guys to know that right now, out there in this world somewhere, there's probably a single mom working two jobs, right, just to keep the fucking lights on, and probably gotta sell some booty hole pics just to keep some food on the table while she's at it. Meanwhile, Kim K's out here just telling him, just fucking work harder. What are you doing? I don't know, man. I think I've honestly lost too many fucking brain cells already. And, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I got some videos I'd like to get to. So, uh, yeah, if you guys don't mind, I appreciate everyone watching today's uh, content. You know, you guys are the fucking best. Shout out to the channel members here. We have uh, Factionator, Jenna Tolds, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video for the hot moms out there. And I'll catch you guys next time. Preferably not with some dumb shit like this. Later.